hi guys i'm back and okay i i know i've been posting a lot today i'm sorry uh this is gonna be my last video of the night if i do have any recordings i will post them tomorrow but okay i i wanted to show you this like this is so freaking cute okay first i wanted to show you that i'm using dyes from andy's shop and i'm using the shadow box dyes so this is what the boxes look like and they're super easy to put together this is basically the bottom piece you cut uh, glue these little pieces together this is the top piece the only thing you have to do is a little cut in each of the uh, corners just so you can fold them and once it's cut and the box is put together this is the piece that goes on top and then you have your little frame and you also have like little holes if you wanted to add holes to them but you can easily hole punch that too and then i use this frame so basically they're all pretty much the same shadow box the only thing that is changing is the frame piece on the front and this is what i made like isn't it adorable and then i used the helga collection from poco doodles it's uh, the digital collection and I think it came out so super cute. You could put a lot of goodies in the inside. And then I did this one. And then this one, I added little flowers. And the back is a friend. I think it's so cute. And what I was thinking of doing was... Let me see if, it's, if I have it behind here. Sorry. I was thinking of adding it to a card. Let me see. I thought I had the card base back here. Here it is. Okay. So what I was thinking of doing was using that, making a card base, adding it to the card itself, obviously still decorating the sides. And once the person gets it, you get the card that you can easily remove if you wanted to. But then it's a card. You know, so just picture that. Isn't it cute? You know, 3D card. But as of now, I haven't done the card base. But these are my two little cute shadow boxes. So freaking cute. And then since I'm here, I wanted to show you real quick. I also um, was using this die. And it's like a card base die. And look. I did a shaker. So I did the... I die cut the... Uh, the pattern paper and then I use plain paper in the background and I stitch I know I stitch all the sides and not bad for my first stitching look so but you don't see this because this is gonna go on top of a card base again let's pretend this is the card base itself it will go on the card and obviously once I decorate it but I just wanted to show you real quick that these big dies like that, they're perfect for shakers. Look at that. But anyway, this is what I did today, real quick. And I'll be back with more videos. And like I said, if I do any tonight, I won't post them till tomorrow. But I just wanted to show you these cute little shadow boxes because they're so adorable. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.